every year we get asked about all the pumpkins. What are you gonna do with all those pumpkins? Previous years, you've probably seen videos of how we collect pumpkins after the October season from the local pumpkin patch and we bring them home, we stack them up, and they sit in the yard for a while, or it appears that they sit in the yard for a while. But we're bringing them in a little at a time into the kitchen, and you can see we're making a mess here in the kitchen. We have seeds and cut pumpkins and purees, and this is the processing station here in the kitchen, making a mess for a long time. So we're making puree. I have other videos about how I do that. And we're also making, uh, we, we process the seeds and we make pumpkin seed powder. And so the pumpkin seed powder is used for uh, digestion, uh, to aid in proper digestion. This is for people consumption. We also sometimes put it in the animal feed, chicken and dog. The puree is for people and animal consumption as well. We, we could. We don't make a lot of pies, but if we wanted to, we could make pumpkin pie or, you know, anything, soups with the pumpkin puree. But mostly this is for our dogs. We now have six dogs and the dogs uh, get it put on their, their dry kibble and that also helps with digestion. So every, every year when we process, we do them in the, the pressure cooker. Right now we have a regular uh, crock pot and pressure cooker going. And then when it comes out, we put it, run it through the mixer. And then we bring it over here and we put it in the baggies. And the baggies then get laid flat like this in the freezer. And they freeze really nice flat like this. And then when we bring them out, uh, we put them in the refrigerator and they thaw and if we do it right we can even reuse the baggie but they they freeze really well stacked flat like this and that's why i'm putting the amount that i put in there it goes about uh, three quarters of the way full i'll show you here may not have enough here this is the end of one pumpkin It's not quite full enough, but I just sit it down, squeeze the air out, zip it up, and lay it flat. And that'll go in the freezer just like that. So that's what I do with the pumpkins every year. Last year we had enough pumpkin puree to last all the dogs all year long, which is really nice because we didn't have to go to the store and buy any pumpkin puree at all. The dogs look forward to it being on top of their kibble. There you go. That's what I do. That's what we do here in the Daddy Curbs Farm household with our pumpkins every year. It is a wonderful free resource and it saves us a lot of money and it contributes to the health of the people and the animals here on the farm. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. Loads of fun. I'll talk to you soon.